apparently in the gym there's like Francie, Nico, me, and maybe like two other guys. What is that? Come in. Hi. How are you? Good man. <laughs> okay, so just got back home from the gym, took a shower already, and there's some concern I have about Bali, and I'd like to talk about it real quick. Okay, so Bali is a very, very beautiful place, right? Don't get me wrong. Like, what, what I'm going to say has nothing to do with Bali itself. It's more like my concerns I have about the summer and about what's going to happen. Beaches are amazing, people are super nice, prices are very, very cheap. You can, I mean, you can live. I mean, I'm going to show you real quick again. I know you see this a lot in our vlog. Okay, this is our place and it's not very expensive. It's not like... It's impossible for anyone to really pay this. So you have a great life here. The one thing I'm very concerned, and this is when we came back from the gym, they're constructing and building the streets everywhere, right? And it takes you like two acts, like two times longer than normal to get, to get anywhere. It's so overcrowded here that it's just really not easy to get from where you, where you are to where you want to go unless you go at night or very, very early in the morning. And even in the morning, it's pretty crowded. So now they're building the roads, they're building, you know, new uh, small parts of the ho hostels and hotels and some small restaurants at the beaches, right? That are not there at the, in the winter time. And there will be more people now in the summer here, which I find very crazy. Like I can't imagine how it is in June, July, like July, August, September, I mean, it has to be so overcrowded here that it takes you like 4x, 5x the time. If you, if you go, well, there's a cat. If you go by car right now to, let's just say from Changu, you go by car to Semenyak. I assume compared to a scooter, it's going to take, take you like 6x the time. I don't know. We didn't take the car for a long time, but I know when we did a few months ago, man, it was at least... 3x the time compared to a scooter drive. So in summer, oh, I don't know. I don't want to be here. What's up? What's up, cat? What's up, honey? She's so cute. She's so quiet the last few days. I don't know what's going on. Like she's sleeping in our bed all the time, being super cute. But I don't know, I'm very concerned. Something is not right. But she's taking very good care of us. I love you. started this vlog we already knew that there would be some downtime and today is one of those downtime days where not really much happened we went to our favorite sunset place here today we had a really cool gym day really sick workout I did some Frank Medrano workout beginner calisthenic stuff failed completely I had to do some pull-ups I think I finished zero pull-ups but did some negatives yeah that's pretty much it I'm really not concerned with the future in general. I think future is very, very positive and will always be. Those downtime days are very, very good to ground yourself. So you understand that it's not only ups, not only downs, and there's something in between and you should embrace that. I think a lot of people watch these vlogs to get out of their normal life, but seriously, sometimes you really need like, just a normal baseline life things that happen every single day. I think that's actually very, very positive. Because when some, nothing negative happens, it's pretty positive. Look at these colors over there. 